Hello and welcome to the Thursday, December 14th, 2023 edition of the Sand and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Washington, D.C. Today we have a diary by Xavier looking into an interesting Python script that Xavier came across. One thing that distinguishes this particular Python script from other malware is that it actually shows up on the screen with a GUI, doesn't just run in the background and attempts to remain unnoticed. The malware does call itself Promine Checker. Promine is the name of... Uh, developer tool and a debugging tool. So maybe it attempts to claim to be related to that. It accepts some files and then offers a check button, which doesn't really do anything. Uh, no matter whether you add files and uh, or don't add files, whenever you click the check button, well, all you see is an error message. So a user may be inclined to believe that the software just isn't working right and uninstalling it. Well, uh, that's already too late. As soon as you run the software, it will actually collect credentials in the background and then exfiltrate it. Also kind of typical behavior for what we often see in malware that targets developers. It looks for password files, Discord credentials, Roblox credentials, sort of typical things that you may find on developer workstations, and then it exfiltrates them via a webhook. As this malware is very likely willingly installed by the victim because it was offered under some kind of pretense, like offering some convenient tool for a developer, just as a reminder, always be careful if you're installing anything in particular, consider where you found this particular piece of software. And this week with Patch Tuesday, we also got updates from Adobe. I haven't mentioned them yet this week. Uh, they aren't really terribly exciting based on the products being patched here. Yes, we got patches for uh, nine different uh, products. The one that uh, probably deserves sort of a mention is Experience Manager. If I count it correctly, we do have 185 vulnerabilities being addressed in this one product. So certainly uh, pay some attention here if you are running Experience Manager. The other products, uh, like I said, not really that exciting. A lot of vulnerabilities with CSS scores sort of in the 3 to 5 range. There are these Substance 3D products that uh, have a couple of remote uh, code execution vulnerabilities. Not really sure how frequently these products are being used. And CISA warns that they are seeing exploitation of JetBrains Team City by the Russian Foreign Intelligence Service. I mentioned the vulnerability here a couple times before CVE 2023-42793. Team City is a product that essentially is used to sort of automate the software production process when you're compiling software and the like, and when you're also digitally signing that software. A compromise of Team City would be sort of your classic uh, software supply chain vulnerability where an attacker would be able to modify the software before it's being compiled and digitally signed, often after any kind of code review is happening, which of course would make it more difficult to find any kind of modification. And last year, September, Sophos fixed a vulnerability in its firewalls, CVE 2022-3236, which allows for arbitrary remote code execution. It's sort of a code injection vulnerability. Now, why are we talking about this today more than a year later? This vulnerability is actively being exploited. And in response, Sophos has now released patches for devices that are end of life. So if you have an end of life Sophos firewall, double check if this vulnerability applies to you. And then of course, patch quickly. And if your firewall is still actively supported, you still probably want to double check that it's up to date. But well, you probably already or hopefully already applied the patch a while ago. 
Well, in this evening, we also had the ceremony here at uh, the conference in DC for the Difference Maker Award. So congratulations uh, to all the winners. Thanks for listening and uh, talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.